in relation to the veracity of his account, as I mentioned today, that's a matter for um, the Director of Public Prosecutions, I feel, or any other body who is given that power to bring any charges for what they may perceive as any criminal offence. Um, as I indicated, there are serious um, repercussions for persons who um, breach the provisions of the of the um, powers and privileges um, ordinance as well as the um, criminal code. Okay, and uh, as it relates to forwarding the evidence that the committee has gathered so far, how long will it take before the DPP actually gets that evidence to her? Um, I can't say as a matter of time frame, but um, the decision was taken by the com by the committee to, um, to to do this because we we felt that um, we, we we want to have the public and to those persons who are appearing before the commission recognize because I don't think that they recognize the gravity of this situation and the importance and how they must treat with it. It must not be taken lightly because it carries serious implications for imprisonment. As I mentioned, if you breach the provisions of the law governing the powers and privileges here for misconduct, it can carry up to two years imprisonment and perjury on indictment can carry up to 10 years. And we felt compelled to make that point that we're not here I know it's an intriguing matter, but we're not here just as a soap opera. We're not here to be taken lightly. We are very serious, and where we feel that persons are, have, are, have breached any of our laws, then we will send it to the appropriate authorities for them to deal with it. And that's the decision we've taken.